this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick, effective way to create the look of gorgeous watercolor paintings from photos. I provided this watercolor paper texture that you can download to use for this project. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Once you open it in Photoshop, Go to Edit and Define Pattern. When you see this message, just click OK. Open a color photo. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as allow us to change or modify the effects that we'll be adding to it. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Click the eyeball to hide the layer. We want to make a new layer below it. To do this, control click or command click on the new layer icon. Click the adjustment layer icon and click pattern. The last pattern you saved will automatically fill your document. Reduce its scale to a percentage that looks good for the size of your document. Then click OK. Make the top layer visible and active and change its blend mode to color burn. Go to Filter, Blur, and Smart Blur. I'll make the radius 10, the threshold 40, however, Depending on the size and resolution of your document, you may want to adjust these amounts. Make the quality high. Then click OK. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. We're going to brush in black along the edges of the layer mask to reveal the paper texture along those edges. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Click the gear icon and click Wet Media Brushes. When you see this message, click OK to replace the current brushes with the Wet Media Brushes. Click the gear icon again and click Small List. Click Drippy Water and press Enter or Return. To make your brush bigger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. I'll make the size 35 pixels. Brush your tool over the edges of your document to reveal the paper texture. To reveal back smaller areas of the paper, press the left bracket key and brush over those areas. Reduce the opacity of the brush to 50% and press Enter or Return. Make your brush a little bigger and loosely overlap the brush strokes along the edges. Make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J and reduce the copy's opacity to 30%. To adjust the contrast and brightness, click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Brightness Contrast. Drag the contrast all the way to the right and adjust the brightness to your liking. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.